Good morning, doctors. Uh, this is Manoj Patki on behalf of the Indian Dental Association IDA and I welcome you all to this live interaction with the director of advanced endodontics program conducted by the Boston University USA in partnership with the Indian Dental Association. It is for the first time that an authoritative organization like the IDA which is recognized as the voice of dentists all over the across the country has joined hands with the university as prestigious as the Boston University USA to create a groundbreaking program that promises to change the way endodontics is practiced in India. This is an opportunity for the Indian science dentists to get trained under a US standard endodontics program to help you meet with the global standards in advanced endodontics with a pioneering blend that balances the opportunities of clinical expertise in India with the organized structured program at a U.S. dental school. It is a didactic education transitioning into a clinical experience. It is a three module program that is intended to empower you to achievable, achieve predictable results endodontics within your clinical setting. The clinical exposure provided will help you treat routine as well as complicated cases with minimum pain to the patient. Module 1 and 2 will be taught in India by the renowned faculty from Boston University is a small clipping which will be giving you uh, basic questionnaires and information. balances the opportunity for clinical expertise within India to the organized approach or a structured program of the U.S. Dental School. On March 2014, Dr. Sammy Chogle and myself have put together this meticulously designed course to give the Indian dentist the benefit of being trained in a U.S. standard endo course. This course does not focus into a clinical experience. So once the participant reaches Boston University for the third module, they are proficient in the techniques of cleaning, shaping and 3D packing, both with the basic as well as the advanced techniques. At Boston University, they will be allowed to use the simulation laboratory where each participant has his own workstation with an individual microscope. The first day will be dedicated to revisiting all the techniques that have been done in the two modules in India. The four days, balance four days, the Boston faculty will train the participants in the various techniques of reading. This will be an actual hands-on experience. At the end of this, each participant in addition to all this will present one selected case portfolio which is a part of their assignments in India and this will be done again in front of the Boston University faculty. This enhances the learning experience as Einstein has beautifully summed up. Education is not the learning of facts. It's training the mind to think. That on the second floor of their head office, the quantities that have been put for this course are proportionate to the number of participants that are there. And consumables are in quantities unheard of. Zeroing down on the micro infrastructure, I would like to bring to your notice two things. One, is every participant will get 3D printed teeth. These 3D printed teeth are plastic teeth with canals which simulate the complex anatomy of a natural tooth as seen on a CBCT. 
When a participant works on these 3D printed teeth, they are exposed to the limitations of what the traditional techniques help to disinfect. And that provides an impetus to upgrade themselves to a newer level in endodontics. The second highlight or the second significant factor in the micro infrastructure is we are providing them with jaw sets which have been specially ordered from America. These jaw sets take in extractive teeth. What is normally available in India are jaw sets which take in Iberian teeth. Iberian teeth have no canals. So routinely all maxillary teeth are taken in the hand and the participant treats a maxillary root canal in his hand. But these jaw sets enable the participants to mount that maxillary tooth in the maxillary arch and treat that as a maxillary tooth in a clinical setup. This helps him transition into his clinics easily. And finally, the main thing is the program director of Boston University, Dr. Sandy Chokling, will be personally coming down for both the Indian modules to teach the participants in the Boston University tradition. There are three benefits from this course. One, the aim is to recalibrate you into doing better root canals by revisiting the basic concepts and then leading you into practicing cutting edge endodontics. The second benefit is the sheer number of teeth that you will be taught under supervision will give you that confidence to do routine cases as well as complex anatomy. And the third benefit is this didactic education will enable you to do root canals with minimal pain and minimal flare-ups. This breeds confidence and trust in your patients and a satisfied patient will be your best reference source. So your practice is under your control and practice is a lot of stuff. If there was one magic students endo in a manner that will give them the flexibility and the versatility to use any system depending on the canal anatomy. This will help them to do excellent quality endodontics seamlessly in their own practices. This answer requires deep thinking on your part because our goal or destination of this course is to help you get successful great root canals. For that we have to travel through the root canals, through the canals to full working length after which we will disinfect them and obturate. Advanced technology helps to raise this bar of disinfection and obturation. This technology gives you far superior disinfection, far superior obturation and hence far successful root canals over a long time frame. So you don't want root canals to last for two years. You would definitely want those root canals to last for a lifetime. If you know how to use this technology, then you give yourself the chance to invest and use it at some appropriate time. But if you don't know how to use this technology, then you have no choice but to be lost in mediocrity. So learning the basic and the advanced gives you a choice to change the environment in which you work. Because ultimately we are products of our inner environment and changes should happen here first, then everything around automatically changes. Two 
major organizations, the Indian Dental Association and the Boston University, are coming together to lay out this course. So US trained endodontists who are teaching at Boston University are coming specially down to India to teach you in an environment in which you are comfortable and then giving you the experience of training with them at their facility at the Boston University. This is not an ordinary opportunity. So essentially this course is comparable only to an endo course taught in the United States with US trained faculty. We saw this video uh, which gave us some basic information but uh, I would uh, like to ask uh, Dr. Nandana to share some more information related to this program, uh, how it is going to be with the module 1, module 2 and how, about the module 3 also. So Dr. Nandana. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Patki. So I would like to uh, just start introducing the course. Can we have the presentation please? So. As we all know, customary care is not the standard of care. And as I tell you about the course, it is with this little presentation which shows you that what we did 30 years ago is not the first one. What we did 30 years ago is not done today. And what we do today will not be done 30 years from now. So as I.B. Bender rightly said, don't be rigid in your techniques or beliefs. Now, today we have a plethora of equipments at our disposal. We have a hundred plus rotary files. We have digital radiography, which is high resolution. We have the uh, irrigation systems, disinfection systems, lasers, pips, vertical obturation, etc., etc. Hundreds of rotary file manufacturers and irrigation devices help dentists to understand how to use their one file or three file or five file or six file rotary systems assuming that the dentist is well grounded in his concepts on biological principles however we seem to have forgotten that though in spite of all these inventions and innovations at our disposal we have forgotten that biologic principles that have been taught by Dr. Grossman, Shielder, Wine have not changed. It's just the methods to attain them have changed. So what I see is a lot of questions on how to do quick endodontics, how to do root canals quickly, fast endodontics, learn endodontics in a day. My question is why is emphasis being placed on root canals to be done quickly. It is always said that preparation in the preparation time for root canals, it is not time that is the criteria. Excellence is the criteria. So what I'm talking about biologic principles is knowledge is required. There are questions which come is a patient comes with a for a retreatment. The gutta percha is beyond the apex. Well, I removed the filling, I did my rotary, but patient did not come back for filling and the patient is very happy. Dentist has to realize that this is where biologic principles are being violated. Patient being happy with our treatment is not the criteria. We have to be happy with our treatment. For that, we need to know where these our limitations and where the body takes over and what needs to be done with that. So. Endodontics, apart from knowledge, endodontics is a skill. And this skill is to navigate your instruments through the complex anatomy, which will give 100% healing. A skill which cannot be picked up online or by lectures, because you have a patient sitting in your chair with a curved mesiobuccal canal. If you are not able to negotiate down the curvature to the full working length, what is going to happen is patient is going to come back with pain because biological principles were not adhered to. The tissue inside was not removed. And pain is the only criteria that patients understand whether you're a good dentist or a not good dentist. So ability to relieve pain 
is the ability to be successful and your ability to relieve pain does not come by listening to lectures it comes with improving your skill you are mastering your skills and a skill which is learned by intensive practice under supervision a skill which is imparted by practice on extracted teeth followed by patients and a skill which can be acquired only by those who wish to excel if biological principles now dr shielder is our grandfather of endodontics and if biological principles are adhered to, then Dr. Shielder says, this is his famous statement, the capacity of endodontic lesions to heal is 100%, which means you can do 100% successful root canals, provided you know what that X is. So if we know that we can give success to the patient, if we know that patient can retain that tooth, which is a natural implant, if we know we can reduce the flare-ups and reduce the pain related to root canal treatment by improvis improvising or honing our skills, then we have that satisfaction that we can give results. And what patients need is just pain-free treatment. So how do we get this 100% result? So the hitch or the, the technical thing is it's lesions capacity to heal is a hundred percent minus x and what is that x x is the clinician's limited knowledge about the canal anatomy the smear layer the biofilms the microorganisms x is the uh, in a uh, inability of the clinician to get patency to clean the canal to shape the canal to obturate the canal and x is also represents the clinician's attitude towards the patient outcomes so which means how many sittings you take for the patient is single sitting or multiple sitting and what dictates it how much i will charge the patient does the cha patient uh, value you enough do you care enough all these factors are what dictate the success of your root canals and all this x factor is within our control which means our practice, our success is within our control. Our ability to relieve pain, our ability to give them successful endodontics or root canal treatment is in our hands. And this is the aim of this course, to let you know that, that this technique that is being taught according to Dr. Shielder, who was at Boston University and he has been the chair and he has been instrumental in propagating these basic endodontic principles. So this course is a three module course which helps you to get your skills in endodontics. Yes, there are a number of good courses which are happening all over India and I know many of you attend it and most of you get your basics and learning capacities from there. But I need to tell you that this course is something which will add to what you have already learned and take you up to a level here of international standards. Now this consists of three modules. Module one, which is preclinical, module two, which is clinical, and module three, which is in Boston. So, if you see our um, memorandum, uh, I mean, MOU was signed with the Dean of Boston University and IDA way back in February 2015. And the reason uh, why Dr. Jeffrey Hutter, who is the Dean, is an, he's an endodontist himself. And he was keen after hearing that the need of the number of students who graduate to learn this basic plus advanced plus retreatment is so large that he agreed to do that for us in India. If you see, this is the team which is the CDE team, the ones who are involved in global education. And two of them are Indians and who could feel the need of this, of our country 
where we need to be taught in a standardized manner. I do not say, I do not say that it's not taught in a manner, but we are a country which is young in its independence and we are still getting organized. There's a lot of systems which have to be set in place. While USA has had endodontics as a separate subject, it is not clubbed with conservative dentistry. So focus is on only on endodontics and the benefit of that organized approach to do root canals will be imparted to our country through the Boston University. Right. Uh, Doctor, some of our participants were asking these questions which said that uh, your course has been announced since a long time and why it took so long for it to start. So can you just please share some uh, thoughts? Yes, <laughs> it has taken a while to get it started. Our first batch is on 24th January mm -hmm. 2018, the coming week. And it has taken a while because I can only say I can explain it best by the statement that we are hypnotized by our environment and we cannot see beyond our horizons. So this course is something which is as per US standards. Now, whenever our students or endodontists from any part of the world go to the US for their masters in endodontics, they are clearly taught to unlearn what they have learned. Okay. And that is the amount of organization they have in endodontics there. Mm -hmm. Also to get to you, uh, uh, share with you one more example, there was one doctor, dentist, young dentist here in the IDA mm -hmm. who was helping us with this course way back in 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, he first, when he saw the list of materials that we wanted and the list of consumables that have to be given to the participant, he said, we don't need all this because this is too much. We have been doing courses for the last 15 years oh. and this is not the amount that should be given. Mm -hmm. It was only when he went mm -hmm. to USA to do a one month externship mm -hmm. at Boston University, mm -hmm. did he come back and say, oh my God, mm -hmm. that is endo. So it's, it takes a while to help understand why we need all this equipment, why we need to provide the participants so much of consumables, mm -hmm. why they need to be given all these kits, because mm -hmm. to treat one curved canal, you might need as many as 20 number 10 files mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get, the, get past that curvature. Plus. So we provide that kind of materials for the students to learn right under supervision. Yeah, the next slide, please. So, coming back to our modules, so we have the first module which is preclinical. Preclinical, everybody knows extracted teeth, yes, the same boring stuff, but it's not boring this time mm -hmm. because we are providing you with 3D printed teeth. The next slide, please. So, the 3D printed teeth are what you see here. I'm sorry for this. Next no, next one, next one, the one next. Yes. As you see here, these are 3D printed teeth which are used as teaching aids in the top US dental schools. Mm -hmm. Now these have anatomy which is simulated as on CBCT. So they have these complex isthmus, cul de sacs, adapical deltas, intercanal communication, everything is replicated there. So the participant will get four such teeth, a maxillary molar, a mandibular molar, a canine and a premolar. So when the participants learn how to use those instruments on these complex anatomies, they know that root canal is not all about taking a file and put it in. You can put it in, but you won't get success. Right. But how to put it in in a manner that gives you 100% healing. Right. That is what is going to be taught in this course. Secondly, when you use your traditional needle and syringe irrigation, mm -hmm. and you see your solution does not go into these complex canals, mm -hmm. then when you actually see it, you believe that it's the same thing is going to be happen in the root canals I do back in my practice. Mm -hmm. So then what do you do? That is what we teach. How to bypass 
all these anatomical I mean, uh, problems and obstructions and get past to get that 100% healing. Next is a, a highlight of this course is that apart from 3D printed teeth, the participants will work on extracted teeth. Mm -hmm. Here again, it's different from the routine courses. Mm -hmm. So extracted teeth are taken in the hand like a maxillary tooth, an mm -hmm. upper tooth. You take it in your hand and work on it like a mandibular tooth. Because in India, we don't have jaw sets mm -hmm. on which you mount extracted teeth. Mm -hmm. We only get jaw sets which mount, mount ivorine teeth. Right. And ivorine teeth have no canals. So we teach them how to do these root canals on a maxillary tooth which is mounted in that jaw set which mm -hmm. we imported from America. Mm -hmm. And these jaw sets take in uh, these extracted teeth. Mm -hmm. So the participants are working on teeth which are mounted as a maxillary. So they get a simulation like their own practice. Absolutely. And second is uh, when they work like this, it increases their confidence, their competence, and their ability to reproduce it. Can you go back two slides, please? Two slides, two slides back. Yes. So this teaches now the question uh, we had yesterday was um, whether it was basic or whether it was advanced or right. what do the students do what is the difference that's what they want uh, right mm -hmm. so if you have no idea about root canals you are most welcome because we will teach you right from basics for those who have been doing practicing root canals for the last 20 years mm -hmm. we will still go from this stage because there are many things that you may have not known that is taught in the u.s dental schools right. which will empower you to improve your root canals mm -hmm. then we take you progressively to mm -hmm. the advanced level right. once you do the advanced techniques mm -hmm. apart from the basic right. then you are ready to go to Boston University mm -hmm. where they will be taught retreatment techniques on the teeth that they have performed here. All right. mm -hmm. So a student, I mean a participant can be a fresh graduate, he can be practicing in the country for 20 years, everybody will benefit because this will fine tune your skills in an organized systematic approach of the Boston University tradition. So if you can go behind, uh, next, sorry, next. The, uh, no, one, the, after the one after this. this. One after this, yes. yes. So as you say, the preclinical module is 24 January. We have 24 hours of hands-on experience on 3D printed teeth and extracted teeth. Then the second module starts on 31st January, which has 20 hours of clinical hands-on training where we teach them on patients. Each participant will get three to four patients where we will teach them the technique of diagnosis. Most important step in endodontics is diagnosis and that is only stays as a chapter in Grossman. Nobody has taught over here, the way U.S. schools teach mm -hmm. of how to diagnose a case in a systematic manner. Mm -hmm. So those techniques will be taught here mm -hmm. and the students or the participants will have to then go back home to their practices right. and submit five cases mm -hmm. in the same pattern that we have taught them. Mm -hmm. Now, why I say organized is because after every module, like in the extracted teeth module mm -hmm. students have an assignment yeah. so there is a format which is copyrighted and which is given to students to replicate step by step the techniques that have been taught in this course mm -hmm. in the clinical module the participants will again get a format on which they follow step by step because they have to enter it on that format mm -hmm. and then in in boston they will be taught retreatment along with one of their best cases that they have documented and their portfolios will be analyzed and one case they will present in front of the Boston faculty. Mm -hmm. Now this case presentation is something which is not done over here mm -hmm. but in, in the endodontic programs in USA 
the case presentation is the most important part where a lot of learning happens. So when everybody has the same format mm -hmm. and you present a case, then the faculty tells you step by step of where, what are the other nuances which you could have, which you could have uh, uh, taken. Mm -hmm. And that is how everybody learns and a lot of clinical uh, progress happens on this end. Now this is the state of the art uh, IDA head office Mumbai uh, setup that has been uh, recently inaugurated and as you see there are 24 phantom heads fully equipped with microscopes and a screen. So the jaw sets that have been imported from USA will be mounted on these phantom heads and students will be taught in this setup. This is the teaching facility where you see it's all set courses are already started on this and our course will happen in the same premises this is the lecture halls as you can see all data all knowledge everything that comes from boston university is copyrighted and everything will be password protected and given to the students in an electronic format this is the clinical facility where they will treat their patients. And this is what I feel is the most important part. I mean, this is how I looked at it after I saw how the delivery system has been uh, organized. So this idea boston university endodontics course mm -hmm. is a freedom from fear yeah. freedom from the fear of whether you will be able to relieve a patient of his pain mm -hmm. freedom from fear of the uncertainty of not finding or not negotiating canal systems from boston university which is an idiot yourself in your practice is to be honest to be sincere with the patient, to be wanting to give the best to the, the patient and to be able to give the best. So you have to have the desire to give, you have, you have to have the desire to give the best to the patient and to be able to give it. And you can be able to give it when you are equipped with knowledge and skills. And this, this program helps you to hone your skills in endodontics which is the only way of relieving a patient of his pain. And trust me, a patient walks to you in your practice for relief of pain. No one likes to visit a dental clinic. But if you relieve the patient of his pain, then a textbook line I can reiterate which says, relieve a patient of his pain and you have made a friend for a lifetime. So teeth, whatever. One tooth pain relief and that patient will trust you with implants and wants a minimum of three to four patients mm -hmm. per participant mm -hmm. so that you take your time to learn under supervision the correct techniques of diagnosis or diagnosis uh, what you say how to go about with the negotiation of the canal how to apply a rubber dam how to see under a microscope mm -hmm. all this takes time mm -hmm. so we are not interested in uh, in what hurrying up with the course mm -hmm. it is as you see uh, most of the uh, most of the trend in our country is how to do quick root canals but the emphasis is not on time here it mm -hmm. is to slowly give that confidence into diagnosing a patient's problem and treating that problem. The time has to be given because the, yes. that is of the essence. Yeah. Right. Uh, this relates to the next question which is, is Dr. Sami Chaugulek coming all the, for all the three modules or will he be present in the US only for the third module? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's, that is the biggest privilege. Right. That Dr. Sami Chaugulek, who is the program and chair mm -hmm. of uh, endodontics at Boston <laughs> University, mm -hmm will be coming down for module one and module two mm -hmm. personally training the participants mm -hmm. in the comfort of their own environment here in india right. and then 
He, along with his team, will teach them the retreatment techniques back in Boston, which is in July this year. So, like we have been stressing, this is a program which is under the very strict and monitoring supervision from the Boston University, okay. which has been organized by the IDA right. along with Boston University. Uh, one more thing which it says that will we be allowed to take the kids back home? That is the question which some of the students have been asking. Right. So, uh, the kids per se, people generally uh, uh, think kids means a regular thing of one set of rotary files and one ruler and one this is not like that. Mm -hmm. This is very unlike that. Mm -hmm. Now we are providing the every participant for two kits. Mm -hmm. One for the preclinical, mm -hmm. one for the clinical. Mm -hmm. Now each kit contains consumables to treat mm -hmm. 10 teeth plus 6. That is 16 extracted teeth. Right? right? along with endo activator tips the touch and heat tips the vertical compaction tips everything is in there we are not cringing on any material that is to be provided to the students now what will the students do mm -hmm. to take it home mm -hmm. that home will be right in these days when they will use it on the yes. teeth right under us yes. to perform that treatment so the take home thing may be to take for personal use, yes, yes. right here. Yeah. And if they are not, not able to do it for some reason, then they could carry it home. Mm -hmm. But what use is the kit when they could not learn it under a US program director supervision? We are taking is knowledge for a lifetime. And that is what basically the program uh, attends to. Yeah. Uh, there are certain other questions uh, which we have. It says, uh, what about the visa? Will we be provided guidance for the same? Uh, I feel yes, of course, uh, the guidance would be given yes. from uh, our side for the students. Of course, it is the student's responsibility because nobody can guarantee about these uh, particular things. Because as per the rules, regulations, which documents to submit, which documents have to be, uh, you know, submitted by the participant for at, at which time? Everything will be told to the students accordingly when they come and they start with the enrollment process. Correct. Right? And also, Boston University will give a letter. Uh, whoever are the registered participants, participants, the letter will be given right. saying that they are coming to Boston for this course, and this is, you know, this is the detail. Yeah. This this is very important support coming out from the Boston University Correct. for all the participants. This right. is very important. Do we have some other questions uh, by the participants? So, uh, you would want to share uh, some of your experience when you were at uh, the campus? Yes, actually, uh, I think oh, we in it's Boston University is not interested in going to any country per se to teach. Mm -hmm. They are more interested to get them into their campus where they have a standardized equipment mm -hmm. and then they want everything to be set according to you know a format mm -hmm. but looking at the situation where every participant or every dentist there are 30,000 dentists who graduate out of this country every and everybody has a right to learn good red root canals everybody has a right to learn the best and everybody has the hope and desire to do that. And everybody cannot go to a US university. Everybody cannot get admission into a postgraduate course in India. True. So in that case, how do they upgrade themselves? Mm -hmm. There are so many dentists who are doing, in fact, out of 30,000 dentists every year, every dentist who gets into practice has to do root canals because yeah. that is not a specialty per se left other than for complicated procedure. It is the bread and butter of the Indian dentist today. Right. And considering the number of part, I mean, dentists who graduate and considering our population and the spectrum of you know, patients they treat, yeah. the amount of good or harm that, that our dentists can do 
you know increases exponentially so our concern is which boston university agreed to is why can't we help these dentists mm -hmm. who do not get admission into post graduation or do not cannot go into a us university mm -hmm. learn right here a format of international standards and that is what is the whole passion behind this course is to help in this way it is a concept it's not a course it's just changing the concepts mm -hmm. and not that we are not taught here but the thing is because we have our speciality with our system which is combined with conservative dentistry the focus on endodontics is less mm -hmm. so till such time that we also streamline into an endodontic speciality where it can be taught in an you know in an organized manner mm -hmm. this is something which has come as a big boon and blessing to us you have some questions more okay. i think we have answered most, most of, of the your queries, questions that yes. have been there so uh, students uh, participants who are interested can send us uh, their queries of course and it could be through emails they can send their emails they can type that we can be in touch with the, the IDA and we can just communicate more information if required related to that. There is one more thing I would like to add here is uh, we also are having some facility where those participants who are interested, we can do some assistance with the financial part also. The cost of the course, if we can just uh, shed some light and how comparative it is if somebody is going for a postgraduate course to US or a uh, an MDS program if you are uh, opting for. So cost wise, the knowledge what you are getting is that's a huge uh, benefit for the dentist here. So I would request Dr. Nandana to just tell us the comparative part financially. How much the cost uh, of the course if the student is doing it here? I think it is 4,60,000. Yes. So uh, uh, with, see the cost of this program is uh, at one level. Mm. Now there are a number of courses that are placed. Right. I want everybody to understand that it is not the cost, it's the value what you get for that cost. Mm -hmm. So you have courses running from 2000 rupees. I have personally conducted courses at a dental college for 2500 rupees. And we, we had so many practicing dentists who could come, but there's a limitation in that. So we have 2,500, we have 10,000, we have 20,000, we have our course at 4,60,000, you have an MDS program at 60 lakhs, you have a US program for one crore. A one year course certificate can also be something like 50,000 50, US dollars. So you have this wide spectrum of courses offered at different financial, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what you say, uh, brackets. Mm -hmm. It is up to the participant to understand what he wants. Right, absolutely. We are not going to say this is not good or that is not good. Mm -hmm. It is what we have to offer and this is what is available. Right. You are, I mean, Dr. Sami Chogle has actually trimmed down a three-year residency program and bought the curriculum in here. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be able to legally say it's a mini residency program, mm -hmm. but it is far, far different and unheard of so far only because he is as passionate as I am to teach that level of endo in our country. So uh, cost is something which as uh, you could help them understand, it covers so many things apart from this, I mean, this entire f a course that we have, I think we have uh, something like 250 sets uh, of packets of just eight number files and 250 packets of 10 number file and 120 rotary files. I mean, it's just unimaginable. In addition, Boston University, I mean, uh, Boston accommodation is included, you know, yes. teaching over here by a US trained endodontist, I mean, a US faculty to come here and train. I mean, all this requires cost. So you're getting the benefit of something mm -hmm. so easily and so easily accessible. Absolutely. So we have some uh, types uh, where uh, some uh, participants who wish to get 
financial assistance, we can assist them through the banks where uh, some loans could be given, which uh, there are certain facilities. More detailed information could be sent to the student when we meet with them one to one also. So, any more questions that are coming in? We have some questions more. Okay. Right. So, uh, one more time, wishing you uh, all. I, I'm yes, sorry. I'm sorry. To <laughs> I just remembered something. Sure. A question that yeah. was asked by uh, one dentist who's been in practice uh -huh. for a very long time, right. and he's very passionate about practicing. And uh, I see that they have their own, uh, you know, uh, questions and right. problems associated with that. Mm -hmm. And then he asked me a question. He said, uh, in India, why is it that only our system says a postgraduate is a master and not an undergraduate? Mm -hmm. So the I see that the dental students, the the fresh graduates or the BDS dentists who are practicing for a good dental practice for so many years and you know doing their best for the society, they feel a kind of us you know a, not a, a complex, but they feel sad that. They are not masters because they have not been taught. Mm -hmm. But what is mastery? Mastery is being able to reproduce the same result each and every time. It's not anecdotal or once in a while. Right. It's not to do something, but to do it in the correct manner. And this is what this program will help our dentists to do. Right. right. So uh, we can uh, tell the students and the participants, those who are interested, they can be in touch, send their details by email. Is there some other message also or some questions which have come? Uh, Dr. Patil, you would like to share something? Uh, yes, it's just that um, uh, it it is, uh, if any of you would like another session like this with more questions, um, the program director, Dr. Sami Chodli, will be here next week. And uh, we could have another session like this where you could also interact with him. So if you could give us your feedback and we could have another proactive session like this. All right. So keep in touch and uh, we wish you all all the best. And a happy Makkah Sankranti. Happy Makkah Sankranti from all of us at, here at IDA. Thank you so much.